Hey guys, what's going on? It is Rick and I am here with an unboxing video. Uh, before I dive into the packages and I have uh, a decent amount to show off to you guys, uh, I want to mention a few things. Uh, first, uh, if you guys watch Dave Cinema Sickness's videos, you'll know that when we uh, went to English Town Flea Market this past weekend, uh, there was mention of my phone dying. So basically Sunday, I was heading to meet Dave at uh, our location that we were meeting at to drive and listening to music and all of a sudden my phone dies. Uh, it just shuts off. It was charged 100%. Tried turning it back on. The screen was just black. Um, so I tried doing a force restart. Nothing would happen. So I was kind of freaking out. Um, it's kind of sad how much we rely on our phones, but um, you know, obviously it's connection to the outside world. It's my contacts and everything are in there because I don't necessarily have everybody's phone number memorized. Uh, it was a bit of a worrisome situation for me. Afraid I was going to lose everything, which I ended up losing. Um, I had a memory card, luckily, in my phone that had all my music and photos on it. So I didn't lose any of that stuff, but I lost all my contact information. Uh, I lost all the notes I had just saved in my phone. Um, the phone would not turn back on. Luckily, I had an insurance on my phone, so they sent me a new phone. Um, which is awesome. They actually upgraded my phone from a Samsung S7 to a Samsung S9. So maybe the video quality will look better. Uh, I kind of did a test video. It seemed like it looked better in my opinion, but I don't know if you guys are going to see a difference once this is up on YouTube. Um, but it just stinks because I have to send back my old phone without the ability to wipe, you know, all my logins off of it, uh, without the ability to delete my personal information. So all that stuff is on my old phone and had to go back. I tried all sorts of things. I let the phone battery die to zero uh, and tried to do a force reboot. Nothing was happening. I think the phone is pretty much toast. Um, the guy said he's seen it before. So I have a new Samsung S9. So that's basically the big thing I wanted to get into. Um, you know, it's been a little while since I've done videos and a part of that was I was without a phone for three days um, and just time schedule. Basically what I'm doing and if you guys watch my channel regularly, you'll know uh, I record videos basically four or five at a time. This way I have content for the next like two weeks. So uh, this is July 5th. It is the Friday after the 4th of July. Happy belated 4th of July, everybody. I will upload this video first. This video will go up today. Uh, you guys that watch my review video, that'll be the next video that comes up. So that'll be everything I saw in the second half of June. And uh, yeah, then I have another unboxing video um, and I have a big random pickup video. So I have been buying a lot of stuff and uh, I'm going to record a bunch of videos showing you guys that stuff, so stay tuned. Be sure, if you don't already, to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Be sure to comment. You guys know I try to respond to most comments. And uh, let's dive in right away to the unboxings. So the first thing here is from Disney Movie Rewards, as you guys can see. And as you can see by the size of the box, it is not a movie. I'm sure you guys can figure out what it is. Um, it's crazy. I feel like they made these boxes specifically for pop figures. Um, so this I used points for. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Does it say how many? It doesn't say how many. I want to say it was like 700 or 730. And uh, that is... Buzz Lightyear from, all right, the glare is crazy today. Buzz Lightyear, Toy Story 4 uh, pop figure. Buzz is actually um, one of my favorite Disney characters ever. So getting this um, definitely wanted to add it to the pop collection. Plus without paying out of pocket for it is always nice. Um, obviously if they had offered up, you know, Duke Kaboom or Ducky or Bunny, I would probably get those as well. 
but Buzz Lightyear definitely wanted to add him to my collection. Even though I have serious gripes about Toy Story 4, which if you watch my review video that will be coming out in the next two to three days, uh, you'll hear me talk a little bit more about that. So I don't, I don't want to get into that too much. Uh, but yeah, Buzz Lightyear pop. Uh, the next package is actually a big package I received. Uh, this one being from Mill Creek Entertainment. You guys can check out Mill Creek at uh, millcreekent.com. They sent me over a bunch of Blu-rays for uh, to check out and review, plus a 4K. Uh, all the stuff that I'm going to show here comes out next Tuesday, July the 9th. So you guys can um, get their stuff on millcreekent.com. You can go to amazon.com. Um, I'm sure some Best Buys might have a few of these titles. Uh, I'm not sure about Target, however. So, um, yeah, be sure to keep your eyes open for these releases from Mill Creek, like I said, next Tuesday. Uh, the first two movies are Andy Sedaris movies. I personally have never seen any Andy Sedaris movies, but it's my understanding they're like 80s Cinemax action cheese naked girl stuff. Um, that, that's just what I know about them. That's kind of what I was told. And uh, the first title is Savage Beast, and this is the Blu-ray digital copy. And the other movie is Picasso Trigger. Uh, like I said, I've never seen these, um, but both are Blu-ray digital combo packs. Uh, Andy Sedaris movies. He actually has a few more, or Mill Creek has a few more coming out in September of his um, that are being released. They announced a few titles. I Spy is coming out in September, which is pretty exciting. Because that had only gotten a uh, like a DV or a BDR release, a Blu-ray disc recordable uh, MOD release from Sony. So I Spy will be coming in September. Also Duplicity, which was already on Blu-ray with Clive Owen. Um, but the other thing that Mill Creek has done, let me show you this, and I'll kind of get into that. The next title is uh, The Stranger Beside Me: The Ted Bundy Story. This being the Blu-ray digital combo pack. Um, so what Mill Creek started doing is if you go over to their website and look at Movie Spree, Movie Spree is like a streaming slash digital platform that they're offering where you're going to be able to use all your digital codes with Mill Creek. You're going to be able to, um, stream. It's free to sign up and everything. So do yourselves a favor, check out Movie Spree when you go over there, um, read about it. It's pretty cool, especially if you're buying Mill Creek titles that offer the uh the digital oh man this glare is driving me crazy it's on my glasses i apologize guys so that is the stranger beside me the next title is a seven part documentary uh this one comes with a slip cover it is nasa a journey through space and as you guys can see uh different artwork once again mill creek crushing it uh with the different uh slip cover artwork to a different actual physical artwork I love that. Uh, I know I kind of tout on that pretty often. I wish everybody would put out when they do slip covers, have a different slip cover than a movie. Um, I think it would make slip covers a lot more interesting and a reason to kind of be a slip ray. Uh, yeah, slip ray. Slip cover snob. Um, but yeah, they even mention on the back here, if you guys can see that, let me try to. There you go about the moviespree.com. That's gonna be, like I said, their digital service. Uh, it's so so nice now with this new camera. If I wanna zoom in on something and kinda of like um, focus on it, I can do it on this. I could not do it on my other phone. Uh, the other weird thing about this that I have to get used to is there's no buttons on the bottom, it's all screen. So the next title is an IMAX uh, enhanced 4K Blu-ray digital combo pack. Uh, this is actually narrated by Tom Cruise, which is pretty awesome. It's an IMAX original film called Space Station. Very awesome. Uh, let's see. All right, the artwork's the same here, but still, still cool nonetheless. A uh, 4K title. I definitely need to check out these 4K titles. Uh, they sent me a few before. The IMAX stuff, I'm sure they'll look fantastic on my TV. Uh, but that is Space Station, the IMAX Enhanced 4K Blu-ray Digital Combo Pack. And then the next two titles, I'm actually going to 
open so I can give you guys a more in-depth uh, look at them. The first title is a steel book, the bo both of them are, and I'm sure you guys um, are aware of what they are if you're a follower of Mill Creek. The first title is a Blu-ray digital combo, and that is Lonesome Dove. Uh, here we go. Let's see here. There we go. The Lonesome Dove Steelbook. Now, what I love about Mill Creek and what they do, uh, this is like a slip cover protector for your steelbook. So it has the title and everything. Uh, it has all the information about the film, about movie spray on there. But the steelbook is protected. Like it's an extra layer of protection. So you have the front of it, the Lonesome Dove, the LD there the back of it there and like i say it just adds an extra layer of protection um there's the the inside of it we'll take out the discs really fast so it's an extra layer of protection and i still bag up you know any steel books i get whether they're you know in the slips or not but like deadpool 2 did it uh, mill creek has done it before with their flatliner steelbook i wish more companies would do it especially with the abundance of steelbooks that are being made uh, nowadays but lonesome dove very cool uh steelbook and then the big release i've actually already opened this one uh the big release a lot of people were excited about this um, oh, this one is just a Blu-ray. It is not a Blu-ray digital. I was trying to take the digital out early. Uh, this is Mothra. So Mothra is obviously part of the Godzilla universe, if you will. Um, so once again, here's what it looks like with the slip cover, the hard plastic slip, and then you take it out and you can kind of get an idea of just what's on the slip. So then you get the beautiful steel book with Mothra there. Very cool. The back. Very nice. I love there's I love that Mill Creek is doing steels now. Um, I know they've done a few in the past, but it's very cool to see. There's the inside artwork of Mothra. Try to get that awful glare off. And then Mothra with the, the disc art. Mill Creek also does disc art, which is nice. A lot of studios don't do disc art. It's just the title of the movie. So very awesome. Um, thank you, obviously, to Mill Creek. Be sure to check out this stuff. There were a bunch of DVDs released um, as well. You can check out Crazy Joe and... Um, Crazy Joe's channel, Megapodtastic, he got a bunch of the DVDs in. Also, uh, Wet Movie, Brandon got some stuff, a lot of DVDs in. So I was very happy with the, uh, the titles that were released, or are being released this coming week. Uh, the next things I want to show are from Macari. Um, they're actually opened already. So give me a second. I paid $29 for three titles. And I know you guys are already saying like 29 bucks. Why, why did you pay so much, Rick? You'll see in a second why. There's a reason. Uh, this actually came with a thank you note. So I want to give my proper shout out. Uh, it says, thank you for your purchase. Heidi, very nice. Uh, I will definitely be ordering from Heidi again. So I will say the first title here uh, is not for me to keep. It is to sell. There's a little bit of rip in the plastic, but the uh, actual uh, case itself is in very good condition. It is the Jigsaw Blu-ray uh, DVD digital steelbook. If any of you guys are interested, like I said, it is in really good shape. Um, there's no corner issues. Oh, excuse me. Plastic is a bit ripped down there, but it's still in great condition. There's it's never been open uh, and the other two things I got the first thing is this Robin Hood steelbook and I know all you guys are like Robin Hood really I mean for the price of under $10 to get some steelbooks I didn't have I went ahead and pulled uh, 
the trigger on it, if you will. Uh, they were all brand new factory sealed. I've opened them already. So this, there's the, the front there. I haven't even peeled off the J card, but uh, I'm trying to leave that on there. Here's the inside. Nothing super exciting on this one. Uh, looks like Robin Hood with the fire in the background. So, um, yeah, I mean, like I said, for under $10, plus I was hoping to sell a uh, jigsaw, make a little bit of money on it, not much, because I know it doesn't go for that much, but, uh, you know, maybe I would keep jigsaw if I had, like, the, all the other Saw movies, but I don't have them on Blu-ray. It's not really something I've ever like sought out after unless I could find it dirt, dirt, dirt cheap. Uh, this last steelbook was the one I was most excited about. Uh, I had the regular version of this movie, but a steelbook of it, I definitely wanted to go ahead and grab. I'm curious to see what's underneath artwork wise. Okay, so it's a quote from the movie on the back. So it is The Wolf of Wall Street. I uh, love this movie. Jonah Hill and Leo are excellent in it. And on the back it says, there's a little bit of sticky stuff, but it says this right here is the land of opportunity. And then it's the Blu-ray DVD combo pack. The inside artwork is very lackluster. Very boring, nothing exciting there. So, uh, like I said, some steel books for under 10 bucks a piece. Uh, two of which for my collection, one of which basically I bought just to kind of flip. Um, at first I did think it was the 4K. Uh, it ended up not being the 4K, but that's all right. I should have read a little, a little more, but the lady Heidi has great deals on Macari. So that's where I got this. And uh, like I said, they're already in bags. I already opened them. So I've been doing that a lot more, just opening my newer stuff. Um, so what do we got next? The next thing here is from, uh, eBay. I bought this with a $3 off coupon that a, a bunch of you guys had messaged me about on Instagram. Uh, it's a title I've been looking for for a while. Now I only need one, uh, two Kevin Smith movies to have them all on Blu-ray. Uh, I need to find Tusk and I need to find Jersey Girl. The rest I have on Blu-ray, I'm 99% sure. Uh, but I was pumped to find this. It ended up being $5, brand new factory sealed, and that is Red State. Uh, out of all the non-USQ slash Jersey Girl, like out of the non-comedies, if you will, this by far is my favorite. Uh, I really did not care for Tusk. Uh, Yoga Hosers was all right. But this movie I actually really did enjoy. Uh, it's been a long time since I've seen it, since it came out on the scene, basically. Uh, I'd actually watched it twice when it first came out. I really enjoyed it. And I've been looking for it for a great price, and uh, five bucks for a brand new factory sealed copy is pretty great. So definitely went ahead and grabbed that off of eBay. What do we got here? Also off of eBay. Give Joe Martinez a shout out here. You ready? Boom. Done. Bag flip. Uh, another title off my wish list. This ended up being $7 with shipping, brand new factory sealed, uh, War Games. And it's funny, uh, the day after I ordered this, Pam from Video Game Movie Dome, because it was on my wish list, uh, messaged me that she got a brand new factory sealed copy, which would have only been $5, and I have trade-in, so it wouldn't have cost me anything. But literally the day after I finally like pulled the trigger on it and forgot to message her, she found a copy. So War Games, thanks for, anyway for trying, Pam. Um, I've never seen this movie. The internet explodes. I uh, definitely want to check it out. I've heard great things. Uh, great 80s film from what I hear. War Games on Blu-ray for $7. And then the last title I actually ordered uh, about a month and a half ago, I want to say. Uh, once again, a ton of you guys, and thank you, you guys know who you are, um, hit me up, and we're like, you need to go on Amazon, they have a great deal, here's the code. Um, so I ordered it, it was back ordered initially two months, but I ordered it, and uh, 
I just got it the other day, and that is the Lego Movie 2, the second part on 4K with the slip. Uh, I paid $10 for it, so or $9.99, I think. So with the slip cover, Lego Movie 2. Uh, I saw this in movies, wasn't, hmm. I didn't love it as much as the original, but I did really enjoy it. So definitely wanted to add it to my collection and the fact that they had it um, on 4K for 10 bucks, brand new, went ahead and grabbed it. So Lego Movie 2, and uh, that's it guys. So I'm gonna try to get the uh, obligatory haul photo here. Minus the pop, maybe with the pop, let's see. Let's go here, and we're gonna slowly pan up. The glare is killing it. Uh, there it is. Boom, boom, we're gonna do that, bam, bam. Can I, I was gonna try to take a photo, but I'm afraid they're gonna fall, let's see. I don't know if that worked, that might be the, uh, I don't know, should I use that as my, uh, my picture, I feel like that ruins the video. Maybe I won't, maybe it was a wasted photo. So that's it guys. As always, be sure to check the description box down below. Uh, I will have a link to Mill Creek's website, millcreekent.com. Like I said, all that stuff is coming out July 9th, next Tuesday. I'll have links to my letterbox where I rate and review all the movies I watch, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, my email address, PO box, all that stuff can be found down below. Also, my eBay page, a uh, ton of new stuff is going to be coming up there. I can't even get into it. Keep your eyes open on my eBay page. I actually had a few guys reach out to me via email because they saw stuff on my eBay. Please go ahead and do that, guys. I will give you a better price. I promise. Uh, eBay, I had one person, I guess, who watches my videos. They try to come after me and they just, I don't, don't think understand that you have to pay fees on eBay. Uh, I offer free shipping, free shipping on everything, but I factor in the shipping costs to the number. So unlike Amazon, who I cannot compete with, which this guy came at me and was like, Amazon has it for this. And I was like, go buy it on Amazon, man. Like, anyway, if you guys are interested, email me. I promise I will work out a better deal with all that stuff in mind that I wouldn't have to pay fees. I would still obviously figure in shipping, but let me know if you're interested in, in anything. Uh, if anybody's interested in that Jigsaw Steelbook, I will give it to you for a great price. And uh, that's it, guys. So as always, until next time, I have three more videos to record. Who's down to movie?